day everyone welcome to our math class this is Sir Romel and today I will be your teacher in taking up this lesson and our lesson for today is translating verbal expressions and equations into algebraic expression and equation so what is an expression so expression is a number a variable or a combination of numbers and variables and operation symbols. Say, for example, this one. Okay, so we have the number, and then y is a variable, then the operation symbol, then the grouping symbol, then another number, and another operation symbol. So, that is an example of an expression. Okay, so now what is an equation? Equation is a mathematical statement where values of two mathematical expressions are connected by equal signs. So an example of this is this, 16 minus 1 is equals to 10. As you can see, meron siyang equal sign. Okay, so that makes it an equation. Okay, basta may nakita kayong ano, two terms, ito yung first term natin, 16 minus 6. Then, merong equal sign that is an equation. Okay? From the word e equation, equal. Okay? Okay, let's try to answer this. Uh, is this an equation or an expression? Okay, very good. So, this is an expression. Why? Because there is no equal sign. Okay? That's the difference between equation. So, another example. 14 plus 7 is equals to 7y. Is this an expression or an equation? Okay. Very good. That is an equation. Why? Because of the symbol equal sign. Okay. Because of the equal sign. So, this is an equation. Remember this. Math word problems cannot be solved unless you translate them into symbols. Okay. So, let us have... An example of these word problems. Okay, so let's us have this problem. Imagine a fare for the first 4 kilometer is 8 pesos and an additional of 1 peso per every kilometer. Richie will go to Laguna from Rizal and the distance from Rizal to Laguna is 99 kilometer. How much does she need to pay? So, bago natin masolve to, syempre, Kailangan natin uh, i-convert tong problem na to into what? Symbols. Okay, pag sinabi natin symbols, yun yung numbers, uh, operational symbols, or variables. Okay, at ito yun. So, to find the total amount of pair, we will use the expression 95y plus 8. Okay, so ito na yung symbol ng buong problem na Imagine mo, no? Ang haba ng problem and then yung pinaka-symbol niya is ito lang. 95y plus 8. So, masasolve na natin yung problem na yan. Okay? So, if we are to solve the problem, ito na yun. So, evaluate. 95y plus 8. Saan nga pala natin nakuha yung 95? So, yung 95 nakuha natin by subtracting 99 kilometers minus 4 kilometers. Diba? Balikan natin yung problem. Diba? Uh, yun. In the first 4 kilometer is 8 pesos. So, ima-minus na natin. Kung total kilometer from Rizal to Laguna is 99 kilometers, so minus 4 kilometers, that will give you 95 na lang. Okay? Kasi may presyo na yung 4 kilometers. Eh. Magbabayad ka na ng 8 pesos doon. Ang kulang na lang is yung from uh, yung, yung 95 kilometers. Yun na lang yung susob natin. Okay? Going back. So, 95Y. Ano yung Y? Ito yung uh, amount per kilometer. Yung Y. Plus 8. Ito yung 4 kilometers. Na 8 pesos per kilometer. So, 95Y plus 8. So, 95 times, ano yung Y natin? That is 1 peso, di ba? Kada kilometer ay 1 peso. Ayun yun, 1 pesos. Plus, yung 8 pesos na uh, yung first 4 kilometer. 
So, 95 times 1 is 95 plus 8 is equals to 103. Therefore, Richie needs to pay 103 pesos. So, let's proceed with algebraic expression. And what is algebraic expression? So, it is a mathematical phrase consisting of letters, numbers, and operation symbols. To translate word phrases into algebraic expressions, the important thing to do is to familiarize the words and phrases associated with symbols or operations. So we have here now the mathematical operation, symbols, words and phrases that is used using addition. Okay, for addition, we have increased by, more than, the sum of, plus, added to, the total of. So, pag nakita nyo itong mga words na to, phrases, that means you're going to use addition. Okay? Next is subtraction. We have your subtraction and then the symbol. So, the word phrases that is used are decreased by, less than, the difference of, minus, subtracted from, diminished by, taken away from. So, pag subtraction naman, pag nakita nyo to sa mga problems, so meaning, you're going to subtract. So, minus ang operation. Now, for multiplication, we have times of the product of twice multiplied by. Okay, so ito naman yung gagamitin natin. For division, we have Divided by the quotient of and the ratio of. Okay. And the last one is equal. So, there you go. Yung equal sign and the words or phrases that is used are is, equals, is the same as, and is equal to. Okay, so let's have an example. Example number one, translate to algebraic expression. Six more than twice a number. And let a be the number. So yung problem natin is six more than twice a number. So that is the word phrase. Iko-convert natin siya. Or we are going to translate that into algebraic expression. So gagawin siya natin siya number. Number sentence. Natin. So six. So that refers to number six. More than, if you remember, anong operation yan? Okay, so that is plus. Twice a number. Twice a number. Twice means what? Di ba? Pag sinabi natin twice ay two times. Okay, di ba? So, twice means two. And then times. A number, yung number natin dito, sabi natin, gawin natin a. Yung variable natin, that is a. Or, we can also write this 2 times a as, ano, pwede natin sulat siya as 2a. Okay, 2a kaya. Ang ating algebraic expression is 6 plus 2a. Okay. Oops. Yeah. Hmm? 6 plus 2a. So, proceed tayo sa example number 2. A number decreased by 5 is 11. So, a number... Wait. Okay. A number. So, yung number, so sabi dito, let n be the number. So, gamitin natin yung n as our number. So, number, so that is n. Okay. Decreased by 5, decreased by, that is what? What operation? Naalala nyo, okay? So, that is subtraction minus Then, the word 5 Is Is actually equals 11 Okay? So, that is our algebraic expression Okay? Easy, right? Next, example 3 the quotient of 15 and 5 subtracted from the product of 15 and 5. So, subtracted from. So, pag kung looking at this example, so, sabi dyan, subtracted from. So, mauuna yung product 
product, ano nga ulit to? That is multiplication. So, 15, that is 15 times 5. And then, subtracted from. Alin yung isa-subtract natin dito? Okay, the quotient, that is division of 15 and 5. So, 15 divided by 5. No? And then, parenthesis. Okay? Ito yung the product of 15 and 5. Ito yun. Okay? And then, the quotient of 15 and 5. Ito yun. Okay? So, hindi pwede magkabaliktad silang dalawa. Okay? Hindi pwede 15 divided by 5 minus 15 times 5. Hindi pwede. Kasi sabi dyan, yung quotient of 15 and 5 daw, isasubtract mo sa product of 15 and 5. Kasi from the word from. Okay, remember that. Okay, for example, number 4. The sum of a number and 4 divided by 2. So, the sum of a number and 4. The sum of a number and 4. So, yung sum that is plus. Diba? Yung sum that is plus of a number, of a number that is a variable. So, we can use x, we can use y, we can use n. So, gamit tayo ng n. n, 4. So, this is 4. Then, divided by, divided by 2. So, the sum of a number and 4. So, pwede natin gamitin n, the sum of a number plus 4. Kasi, the sum of a number and 4. Then, parenthesis. Then, divided by 2. Okay? So, that is our algebraic expression. Okay. So, the symbol or letter in an expression that represents one or more number is called variable. So, yun yung mga x, yung mga n, yung y na nagre-represent ng missing number. no? Any specific number in an expression is called constant. So, yung mga number naman, yun ang tinatawag natin constant. A constant is any symbol that does not change in value. So, hindi na babago yung value nun. Kung yun ay 2, 2 pa rin yun. Okay? So, variable and constant. A term is a number or variable or a product or quotient of a number and variables raised to a specified power. The terms are separated by plus or minus sign. It is not necessary to write the plus sign at the beginning of a term. The number beside the variable is called numerical coefficient. So in this expression 2x plus 6, we have x, this one, okay? X is a variable which represents the unknown value. So, yun yung unknown value. Nire-represent siya ng mga letters. So, that is what we call variable. 2 is the numerical coefficient. Yan yung tinatawag natin numerical coefficient. Yan yung laging katabi ng variable. Okay? Then, 6 is 1 is the constant value term which has definite value. Siya yung may definite value. Hindi siya pwedeng mabago. No? That kaya tinawag natin constant yan. Okay? And then, 2x plus 6 has two terms. These are 2x and 6. So, yan 2x. That is the first term. And then, yung 6. Yan yung second term. They are separated by a what? symbol of operation. Okay? Okay, example number one. Four times a number increased by five. That is our word phrase. So, gawin natin algebraic expression that is 4y plus five. In this example, y is what we call the, again, the variable. Okay? Then, four, yung katabi ng variable natin, we call that as numerical coefficient that is the numerical coefficient of y then 5 yung nagsosolong 5 dito okay that is what we call the constant na hindi siya pwedeng mabago okay and it has also two terms 
we have three. Oh, sorry. That is, uh, I mean, four y and five. So four y. I think four y. That is the first term, and then the second term is five. So meron siyang two terms. So example number two. 15 subtracted from thrice a number. So the expression is 3 times, thrice kasi no, thrice, that means 3 times minus 15. Okay, so x again is the variable. So yung x doon sa 3x. Then 3 is the numerical coefficient of x. And then 15 is the constant. And it has also two terms. We have 3x and uh, 15. Okay, for the last example, number 3. 30 added to the product of 6 and 4. So the expression is 30 plus 6 times 4. So let's analyze. So do we have a variable? Okay, so we have no variable. So 30 tapos plus 6 times 4. Yung x doon is multiplication yun, hindi yung variable, no? So that is 6 times 4. So wala tayong variable. So wala rin tayong numerical coefficients. So yung number 30, 6, and 4 are the constants. So it has two terms, 30 tsaka yung 6 times 4. Okay? Try to answer this. So I'm going to ask you... The, the variables, the numerical coefficient, and the constant, and the terms. Okay? So, are you ready? So, let's see. 5 here. 5 is what we call the... Okay, very good. That is what we call the numerical coefficient. How about y? y is our okay uh, of y that is our variable very good how about 12? okay so that is our constant how about the terms? how many terms? Okay, very good. We have two terms. Ano ano yung two terms na yun? That is 5y and 12. Very good. So, this is the end of the lesson. Uh, sana may natutunan kayo. And see you on my next video. Goodbye and keep safe everyone.